Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Bliss in the Chaos. My name is Dara, and on my channel, I have recently been doing jewelry unboxings. This here is from shopgoodwill.com out of Arizona, somewhere in Arizona. Um, it was listed as a bulk exotic bohemian jewelry box at 24.3 pounds. I paid 8201 Tax was $623, shipping and handling $2180 for a total of $110.04. For 24.3 pounds, puts it at about $4.53 a pound. Very nice. I like that. So we are going to. Ooh, that is a dull knife. I picked this up at a digging sale this past weekend. It was awesome. I get to go back sometime soon and dig some more. <laughs> Anyway, let's open her up. I've got a um, sweatshirt down because this box, they sent it. This is the first one I've had that got sent um, U USPS. And I mean, they put it in a large flat rate box and it, it kind of squished just due to how heavy the jewelry is. But that, you know, it's, it came, it's safe. It's wrapped up nice. It's all good been sitting in my office for a couple of weeks actually I have another one similar to it <laughs> I'm so excited to open them up alrighty so what we have right off the bat oh, it's hard to see with the bag in the way this one here is stuck on this of course <laughs> what is going on oh it's a Claire's and it is a double strand thing Oh, I see. It's like a crisscross whatnot. Okay, we'll have to unbag it because this is totally tangled up. So I'm going to switch camera angles and get the bag out. Yahoo! This is a heavy bag. Oh my goodness. I lifted it out of the box and put it right here and oof, almost killed myself. Not really, but still. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and dig some of this out. Oh, this is going to be a tangle fest, I'll betcha. Tangle fest galore. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> well, it's going to be very fun. You know how I like to untangle things. If you've been watching anyway, you know how I like to untangle. Yeah! Ready to go through this. Cooper, you're on my chair. <laughs> Who's my kitty? That's right, you are. Sorry. Sorry to move you. All right, let's get digging. Let's see this first. Here we've got a very plain little pin. It's in gold tone. It is not marked, just a little fashion pin. Pin pile. Here is a coro earring. It's marked coro on the back. It's a clip on. A little dirty, but not bad. This one is marked Japan on the back there. It's just a vintage little pearly finish, round clip-on. Here's an earring. It's shell dyed yellow. Ooh, another earring. <laughs> this is just one of those classic gold with a drop faux pearl. The backing is nice. This is probably a newer fashion earring. Nice, good condition. Here's a, another earring. I was gonna say it's a bracelet, but it's not. It's just a gold hoop. It's kind of mangled. It's probably gonna go in the craft box. I'm gonna use that box I got it in as my craft box. Oh gosh, it's all tangly. I'll try to pick out what's easy. Okay, here is just a pink tone pearly necklace. Plastic, of course. No mark on the clasp. Pretty, simple. Elegant. Usually these ones are a nightmare to untangle, but this is not bad yet. <laughs> she said enthusiastically as she wrestled to get it undone. Oh gosh, we got some cute stuff in here. This looks like it was a pin, probably handmade. It's all stuck in here. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oop, got it. Yeah, this maybe was a pin and somebody handmade it. They put this little um, scissors charm on it and put glued some buttons on. Interesting. I think that'll go to the craft lot. I'm not impressed. 
Okay, this is a wire, a wrapped wire necklace. It needs to be reshaped. It has real shiny little um, barrel seed type beads in silver and a very shiny black. So yeah, I'll have to reshape that and untangle it and see what happens. Is this gonna come out? No. How about this one? Yep, this is a silver tone necklace. I don't see any maker's mark on it. Nope. It's got these silver tone flowers with these little blue gems. It's pretty. I like blue. Ouch! What on earth was that? It felt like burnt. It's weird. God, I hope it's not neuropathy. That would suck. Sorry, I'm a type 1 diabetic. It's been 23 years of it, but I have no symptoms of neuropathy or anything, but that was a weird feeling. I did not like it. So then I voiced my concern. I'm not really that concerned about it. Just, yeah, I just put it up there. <laughs> okay, so we got some tangles here. This came right out good. It is a pink chain and it has a BFF on the front of this locket. Nothing in it. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, we've got a few things mixed in here. So, this one is a silver tone chain with a lobster clasp. It has this little tree or plant with these leaves. They're faceted gems in a little tassel. Is this all one? Yeah, I think this is all one. Maybe. No, this is a different chain. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, the first one here, we've got a silver chain with an arrow and a heart. Very cute. And this other chain is silver tone and it has a heart with a crown on it. Those are very sweet. I'll put them in the tangle pile. Ah, this is cute. Looks handmade. The little barrel clasp and seed beads, some hematite squares, and then these little, I think these are glass. Yep, those are nice glass beads. That's a pretty little guy. It's a pretty bracelet. I like it. Uh, here's a teeny tiny ring. You remember when I got all those rings? Those little teeny tiny rings? Several videos ago, but this is just like that. Little teeny with like a birthstone gem. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. And it's marked on the back. The back of it says, excuse me, since my eyesight is very poor. Oof. Okay, gonna check it. PSE925. So it's sterling for sure. Just out of curiosity. Nope, those are just glass. I've got my gem tester on right here. It's the glass earring, but that's pretty. And here's a little drop earring with a little shell on the end. Here's a butterfly with some abalone. Hmm. This is a keychain charm or something. It's got a luggage or a little briefcase thingy on it. Oh, it's a Kathy Van Zeeland purse charm. See? Kathy Van Zeeland, very cute. First charms. Let's look at this. Oh, doy. Josiah, a little personalized wrap bracelet. A little hoop earring with pink. Oh, this is kind of fun. This is like a straw or raffia necklace and they've got it in three tiers. It's got a lobster clasp and it's in three tiers with all these little wrapped discs. And these ones, they've added little tassels, little tassely beads too. It's kind of fun. 
And this one's a little leather bracelet. It doesn't have a catch on it. It doesn't have a clasp. And they've wrapped it with some beads. That's kind of cute, but that's gonna go in the craft lot. Here's a pendant. It's like a dream catcher with the faux turquoise in the middle and some feathers. Here is a larger chain. <laughs> Excuse me. This says Gwen. Gwen. And it's not silver or anything. It's just silver tone and the plating is coming off. So that is also a craft box item. We have a crucifix right here. Oh, it's double sided. Little silver tone crucifix pendant. Oh, cutie. My goodness. This is a... Come in. Giovanni. A Giovanni pin. That is very cute. Might be a little bit bent up, but I can shape that. Shape that. I like it. This little rose, silver tone. Here's a cute necklace. Hiding an earring. It's this little drop silver circle. Real cute. Hair. Glass. Maybe that's what cut me. <laughs> that must be what it was. I might email this location and tell them there was broken glass in my jewelry. I'll put it on my keyboard so I remember. Oof. Anyway, <laughs> this is cute. It's a nice silver and it's got these little droplet, light blue, not marked. Cute. You have to be careful digging through this. This is a pin. It's in a little package. It's not marked or anything. It's this big old gem with shiny, shiny, beautiful pin. Here is an earring. Now, since this is not a see-through gem here, a cabochon, it's not a Jelly Belly, but it's in the spirit of Jelly Belly. A lot of people have, a lot of companies have copied the Jelly Belly, which I think is Trafari which is clear gems on animals. So this is sort of a jelly belly, but it's not really. And it's not marked, but it's a little elephant with a cute little gem. Here is a little post stud earring with a pink tassel. Here's a cat. And a bobby pin, yuck. Okay. Here's this very funky little kitty cat on an earring, and I like it. Hmm. I'm a sucker for cat stuff. Looking around. I thought I heard a cat. Yep, it's Nori. Okay, this is a nice little hoop. It's like an antique bronze type finish. Here we've got a gold tone bangle that's missing whatever was in the middle. So that goes to craft. We got some beads that'll go to craft. It's over here. There's another earring. It's really lovely. Okay, it's a post stud. It's got this like topazy colored gem, which is either dirty or... Oh, it's just dirty. That comes right off. Nice. Pretty sure they're just glass. Oh, that one might actually be citrine. And these guys, definitely glass. You gotta test them. Sometimes you just don't know. don't think it's marked in there. That's real pretty though. Understated and elegant. <laughs> a purple stud earring. Here's a pin. It is a Christmas candle. Very nice. Not marked. Ooh, I got some tiger's eye. Got some tiger's eye stones on a drop earring. Here's a lovely butterfly. This is just like resin with glitter underneath. That's pretty. Here's a silver tone hoop. Okay, we got some stuff mixed in here. Come here, buddy. Okay, this is a square, not quite zebra, really, but that's kind of cool. Geometric-ish. Silver tone necklace, no mark, kind of worn. 
this pretty little pendant. And that's definitely glass. It's like a marble. It looks crackled inside. It's not broken, but it's crackled. Let's see you pretty beads. Or not, whatever. Here's a piece of beads. I'll go in the bits and pieces pile. Oh, it's a howling wolf. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Uh, they've got KJ stamped on the back, a little handmade thingy. It feels kind of like cardboard. It's kind of fun though. So many books, so little time. Little resin pendant. And the chain's kind of gross, but I can get that cleaned up. We've got a rubber necklace. This is rubber. <laughs> It's red and it's got these little gem gems. It's got these charms on the end. They are Christmas sandals with snowmen on them, I think. And it, maybe, I don't know. They're not very well done, but it's kind of fun. So I'll put it in the Christmas stuff. Someone will like that. Another bit and piece. Here's a giant cameo. Hmm. And she's wearing a necklace with a little gem. There's no way this is a real cameo. This has got to be like a a resin or something. It's definitely not shell, especially with this added necklace. And you can tell she's not carved or anything. She's very flat. So kind of cute. Someone will like that. Ooh, a micro mosaic earring. Look at that. That's nice. Little blue flower, micro mosaic. Sorry about my fingers, guys. I've been... I've had a little anxiety and I've been picking and I shouldn't be, but you know, this is a little green hoop earring, but it is what it is. So now this is a broken chain. Okay. Oh, little cascading blue gems. It's kind of heavy. I like that earring. Little plastic faceted pendant. Hmm. Oops. It's a stretchy ring. That's really pretty. <laughs> I like that little statement. Little statement ring. I am tripping over my words more than usual this morning. Sorry. Here's a pretty earring with drop butterflies. Nope. That's going to make it worse. Got a silly band. Trash. Ooh, I'm going over here because this is cute. It's the keychain and it's a peacock with evil eyes for feathers. Ah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's really cute. Got a, ooh, a stick pin. Let's dig it out. Ooh, that is not nice. That's a handmade wire wrap stick pin flower. It was tissue paper or something and it is falling apart. That is too bad. I think I'll keep the stick pin end in case I find a stick pin that needs one and I'm going to throw that away. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we finally got this out. There's a long strand of plastic green beads and then these are little pieces of shell and it's got this type of clasp on it. All right, sure. Not high quality or anything, but that's kind of fun. Okay, we've got a little leather, probably faux leather, and this is a Brighton, check it out. The Brighton B. It has some charms on it. It says dream, and this one has some little hearts on it. This one says sister, and this one has gems. It's a very pretty little Brighton bracelet. I like it. Hmm. I like getting bright and stuff. Oh, hey, you remember my one several videos back where I got one just like this, only it said Kyle, and I was going to give it to my sister to give to her husband? Oh, I should give it to him. It's his birthday today, yesterday. Sorry, Kyle, that I don't remember when your birthday is. I never do. Sorry about that. I have too many kids. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, come on. This is a nightmare. Look at this little earring. 
I mean, it's cute. It's the drop earring, but these wires and the little pearls, they catch on everything. Okay. Anyway, the one I had that said Kyle, and then this one says Lisa. That's funny. Bracelet. I've said before that I like these. Is that an inclusion? I think that's an inclusion. So like colored abalone shells and a silver tone bracelet. Precious. I like that. Here are some shell carved birds. Come here. Little carved birds on a shell earring. Hmm. This is very beachy. It is looks like cotton cord. Got a bead stuck in there. There it is. It's cotton cord with the tooth shells that I don't like, but that's a fun little necklace. All right, very beachy. This is a pretty little bangle, silver tone. A little heavy, but it's probably pewter or something. Probably not pewter, it's not really bendy, but you know. <laughs> okay, this is something off of something. I don't think it's an earring. Unless you're a masochist. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And this is a little plastic sandal. Earring. Okay. This is a bundle. Mm, I wonder who it was originally. $16.99 price tag. And it's heavy and pretty, but the stretch is kind of gone. Steve Madden, maybe? Nope, made in China, and I don't, I'm... <sighs> Heating it up with my breath. <sighs> it's not working. <laughs> but hey, those are pretty. I guess they got some good stretch still. I'll sell those. And a little heart pendant. Some little plasticky gems. CTR. Ugh. The plating is all worn off. It's a adjustable ring, SOZ on the back. No, I think that's gonna go go to trash. Okay, here's a drop earring, black faceted cabochons. This is a little hoop thing, body jewelry maybe. Um, it kind of looks like silver, but it doesn't say it's silver anywhere, I don't think. Oh, it does. Yep, 925. Nice, silver scrap. <laughs> Unless I find the mate, then maybe I'll sell them, but those little hoops don't, I find, don't tend to do very well. Okay, friend, you gonna come out of here? There we go. Now this is a stretch something or other. I think it may have been a bracelet at one point, but it is just, well, if one, it's got hair all in it, but the, it's stretched out and just awful. So this is gonna go to craft. Get the hair out of it if I can. Nope, not that, not that. Let's see if we can get this friendship bracelet out. Yep. Friendship bracelet. Mission Africa. Building hope one community at a time. This was a three dollar little keychain. It's beaded with one of those tooth, uh, two of the tooth thingies. So that'll go to keychains. <laughs> Untangle this wire necklace. <laughs> okay, give me a moment. I'm going to untangle this and come right back. Awesome. We got some stuff untangled here. I found some good things and some weird things. <laughs> Let's start with one of the one of the good things. This is a new with tags, Alex and Annie bracelet. It's from 2017 with the graduation cap. And it's got some other little charms on it too. Never had a new with tags, Alex and Annie before. That's awesome. Um, I got this strange coin. 
I suppose it's not strange. It's just not in a language I understand. So I'll have to like Google translate that or something. Then there's this one earring. It's, um, it says Yosemite and the, I guess that's supposed to be Yosemite there. I guess we have a little ring. It is sizable, but here on the top, not on the bottom. So it's not as noticeable. And it's a sweet, sweet little daisy, little silver tone daisy. Here's an earring, a little drop with the cat eye and some rhinestones. Another earring is just a silver tone hoop. We got this little teardrop shape one with the turquoise colored enamel. Here's a piece, like a half of a bead or something. Yeah, maybe it's not half. Maybe it's just supposed to be like that. So that'll go in the bead pile. Hmm. Excuse me. This is an Avon clip-on earring. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, Effie got up from her nap and she wanted food. And I gave her yogurt and then she didn't want the yogurt, so I had to eat the yogurt. And then I gave her a banana. She didn't want the banana, so I had to eat the banana. It's a whole thing. So now I've, I'm hiccuping a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here is a white plastic cabochon that'll go in the craft. Here's a pink hoop earring. This is a little hexagon gold tone earring. This is an earring of some kind, I think, but that looks like a screw back or something, and it's missing the back, so I don't know if it goes to something else. So I'll set it to the side for now, see if anything else pops up. We got a little cascading waterfall rhinestone, and it says RMN on the back, so that might just be the back, but if it is, then this is Roman. RMN is Roman jewelry. This little earring here, it's like a wire wrapped star, really sweet. Hmm, I like it. It's kind of fun. I'm looking for markings because it looks a little silver. I don't know. Whoop here, this is a Lisner, L-I-S-N-E-R, clip on, vintage earring. Really pretty, I like the shine on it. Got some scrap gold. It's a broken chain. It's been knotted in a few places. Looks like on purpose. We'll see if that comes up in a another lot. Okay, here is some black cotton cords with this drop little pendant with a couple of keys on it. Several keys actually. Really pretty. This is a piece of something. I'm gonna assume a bracelet. It might be Brighton as well, who knows? But I'll see if that pops up. Got a kindergarten workshop um, pipe cleaner with random beads. That'll go to craft too. There's a loose bead, that'll go to craft. This is not marked, but it's silver tone, multi-chain with a lot of these fabulous little plastic beads and some shell bits. That's nice. Trash. This is like a big old long rhinestone chain. <laughs> but it doesn't have any ends on it, no clasp or anything, so that'll go to craft for now. This one, also not marked, it's a long silver tone chain with this lovely little droplet cascading pendant at the bottom. This is an earring, gold tone flower. <laughs> Evie's playing with Nori. This doesn't have a clasp either, and I'm pretty sure this is the way it goes, just over your neck here, and then this part would hang down because it's multi-chain and hangs down like that. So that's kind of fun with the purple beads. We have a silver tone stud. Those are always cute. Here's a gold tone doubled up chain. So that would have been on a sweater or something. And it's got this lovely pendant at the bottom. Mom, what's that Tassels. name? What's whose name, baby? What's that name? That's Nori. You know that. The girl. Nori's a girl, yes. It was Roxy. Rox Roxy? Roxy's name is Roxy, honey. And what? She's a girl as well. 
Just like Nori. Hang on a second, baby. This is a silver. Yes, honey. This is a silver tone chain with some little plastic green droplets. Very cute. Here's a silver tone chain. It's a very inexpensive type chain. It actually says something. It says Germany on it. Hmm. Okay. But it's very lightweight. I don't know. It might be fine. And it's got this stone on the bottom. And it went, when I tested it, it went all the way up between, like, the quartz and citrine and then the jadeite and spinel. Wait a minute, Mom. So I don't know what kind of... Mom? Mom? It's probably dyed. I don't know, but it's cute. Oh! Sorry, are you okay? Mom. What? Um, did you know what Nori was morning? What? Did you got Nori was I got Nori years and years ago. Did you cut him? No, honey. I didn't catch her. I adopted her. Nori, stop chewing on that plastic bag. Nori. <laughs> okay, this is a lovely little gold tone chain. Very delicate, very sweet. And at the bottom is this hammered arrowhead. This is just a little silver ball chain. Very, very shiny. I'll go in a little chain pile for now. And this one has a thing on it. Let me see. Oh, this might have been something for like a swap watch. Actually, I've got a face right here. Here's a swap watch face. So I finally found that and I've got other... I have other chains that go with it. See, it would go just kind of like that. Or you could wear it by itself too, I suppose, if your wrist is small. I put it with the swap watch over here so I don't lose it. Here is a silver tone bracelet with a little blue paw print. We've got... Dang it, I thought I had that untangled. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I thought I had this untangled. I guess I didn't. Anyway. Yeah, this is a silver tone chain with these little glass. Yeah, they're glass. And they're orange colored and very sweet. I'll untangle that in a minute. I found another of these rings with the CTR. And I did look that up and it's a Latter-day Saints oh, ring. It means... What is it? Nice. Black. Nice. I don't know. Black. Choose the right. CTR, choose the right. And they are not worth anything. They're going online for like a dollar twelve. So that's just gonna go right to the trash because it's beat up anyway. Here's an adjustable cotton cord with a sweet little carved um, fish. And I didn't look too closely at that. Yes, Evie. Um does Nori have a tail and a butt? She does have a tail and a butt. He does? Yeah. Just like us. And I think it's just plastic. This I don't way, think it's bone. Put a board of Adam? Yep, Adam has a butt too. Okay. No, he has penis. Oh my goodness gracious, Evie. Shh. Not on my channel, please. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Evie knows the difference between boys and girls. Anyway, this one is a multi-strand coated wire. And it's got very colorful beads on it. They're all plastic, faceted, very nice. In very good shape, too. And then this one here, I got out. Is that Adam? Yeah. Hi. I was leaving. You were leaving? Yeah. I'm glad you came back. I was eating worms. Don't eat worms. No, I was just eating worms. Rocks? No, worms. Worms? No, worms. Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't understand him sometimes. Okay. This one is marked Sugar Fix. It's very cute. Multi strand with pink beads, and it is graduated lengths. Isn't that cute? I like that. I like it a lot. Let's see if we can grab a few more things out of here. I'd love to see if I can get this out. I want to know what it is. 
I if it's got shells in it. Nope. <laughs> it's going to take me a bit. Okay, here's a... That's cute. Looks like it came from Wish.com or something. <laughs> and then it tangled itself up, but it's this really pretty, like, I don't know what you call that shape, but it's got rhinestones in it and a little gold tone chain. And the chain is marked here, but I have found that with a lot of things that you get from wish.com, yeah, it says 925, but I'll have to test it. A lot of things that you get from wish.com will say that they're 925 or 12 karat gold or whatever, and they are not. So I'll test it later, I guess. Cute though. I'll still sell it. Probably put a different lobster clasp on it that doesn't say 925 if it's not 925. Okay, sorry, I'm going on a tangent. I'll stop. <laughs> Oh, this is wrapped up in here. Come on, what's going on? Okay, this is wrapped up on an old raggedy card. It's a silver tone chain. It's got a little tag on it that says, come on, really? Eve, or EVG, something like that. And it's a very sweet little like origami hour-ish. It doesn't open up or anything, but it's got the charms inside the glass and then the rhinestones around. That's very cute. Mom, look at this. <laughs> what am I looking at, baby? This. I don't see anything. Did you get hurt? No, oh. look at this. <laughs> look at this thing. Look at this. I see the finger. Mm -hmm. It's really This is interesting. <laughs> It's wearing off. It's got an eagle with a shield and stuff on it. And uh, it says I-21 or 1-21. Little pin. Interesting. What's the matter, honey? Oh, excuse me. She's okay. Just a little perceived owie. Hmm. A little drop earring, gunmetal color with some gems. Yes, dear. Here's a set called Olay. Made in China. Little droplet earrings. And then this is a nice little statement piece, isn't it? Look at that. That's very shiny and lovely. I like that a lot. That's very beautiful. Set can go over here. Oh, we got a bit of a tangle. Okay. that might have been a watch spring but it's not this is a silver tone earring and it's a guess earring see property of guess los angeles and it's very sweet Let's see if we got oh we do have the match to it it's right here here's the match nice then we've got a nice tangle going on in here what was that did you throw something you can sew this. Ah, it came off. This is lovely. You can sew I like this a lot. Look at this pretty ring. Mom, can you sew this ring? Can I share it? Yeah. Look at this one. Can I have it on? It's a peacock. Is it missing gems? I don't know if it's missing gems or not, but it's cute either way. Scoops, Mom. What song? Scoot, scoots. Scoot, scoot. What? I'm not gonna scooch. But did you want to put it on or not? I can't hold it. <laughs> Here's a little gold tone stud with a little pink gem in it. And I'm thinking, oh, I got some little bits right here that'll come out. This is going to have a lot of earrings in it. This lot's going to have a lot of earrings. Okay, let's do. Oh my goodness gracious. Would you look at that? We have a new with tag, Kate Spade, long necklace, it says. Long necklace. Gosh. And it does not have a clasp, but it does have the little hang tag at the back with the classic Kate Spade New York and the little golden spade. Very sweet. The tag 
is trash. And then these lovely little gems. I have to test the authenticity of it, but it looks good to me. Yes, Eddie, what do you need? Share the ring? No. We always share the ring, honey. Really? In a minute, honey. Okay, let's finish up this and then I'll cut the video for the day. Um, here is that other coral earring, so we have a nice match there. Here's a teal colored hexagon earring. Here's a couple of little pumpkins that came off of something, so they are broken. That'll go to craft. Just a minute. This is a broken earring couple of broken earrings off of something those over there this is just a piece of plastic trash because it's who knows what it goes to here's a little marcasite earring that's lovely no it doesn't look like silver no not silver but definitely marcasite that's really pretty here's a little flower stud earring this one is a not marked, I don't think. Is that a mark? Yeah, that is a mark, but it just looks like FSCC or something. It's just like a little vintage earring. I can't tell. Little clip on. Weird. And it, and it looks like there's like a pin back here. Weird. Like a stick pin thingy to attach it. Mom? Strange. Mom? Anyway, yeah, earring. Yes, baby? Um, it's a broken earring. Uh, broken earrings are broken earrings, honey. Earrings that are broken. Here's this little drop full pearl. Let me see. That was an Avon. Mom, I don't want to see Hang on a minute, honey. This is an unmarked sweet little gold tone pin with some aurora borealis gems and some faux pearl that's gorgeous so pretty baby, and a trafari it's nice that's really cute for a little trafari it's a crown trafari it's got some verdigris i can get that cleaned up nice <laughs> Well, Evie apparently needs some attention. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and I will join you next time when we go through a little bit more of this. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye-bye.